Hello? Oh, hi, Ben. Yeah, it's almost all finished. <laughs> yes. Excuse me. I got to disconnect. She'll be off in a minute. Oh, uh, it's sweet of you to call. Give him my best. Mom sends her best. Bye-bye. All finished. Finished. You're seeing a lot of Ben lately, aren't you? What, are you my social secretary or my daughter? Come on. Well, I guess that's it, huh? I'm gonna miss this house. Oh. I know how you feel. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Being an intern was a fun, glorious experience. <laughs> Which, as we both know, is a ridiculous misconception. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Wait. Gosh, I've forgotten how young Tim looked. May maybe we shouldn't look at these pictures. No, again. no, I want to. I want to. Oh, six of us in Rockport. Uh huh. Now, that was the weekend that Amy got her crush on Larry. It had to be. Was that a year ago? Yeah, that was, was Thanksgiving weekend. I almost <sighs> forgot. That was just before Janet and I separated. Mm. Well, enough of the past, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I like to wallow in it. It's crazy. Well, if you want to wallow in something, let's make it champagne. Champagne? Uh -huh. You really have champagne? Uh, yep, I really do. <laughs> what are we celebrating? We're celebrating our being alone together. And we are celebrating tonight. This is your first visit to my bachelor pad. Oh. After me inviting you to come over here, nagging you for oh. the last two months. Ah, voila. So nice. Ah. Love it. me. This is so lovely. <laughs> I don't even like champagne. Really? Mm -hmm. I hate this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I can't stay too late tonight. Why not? You forgot, didn't you? I knew you were going to forget. Uh. Okay. 
Tomorrow morning, remember? Bright and early. Cooking. Ben, it's more than cooking. I, I take over as chef of the private dining room. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is more than cooking, Ben. Yeah. Well, is it really the money, Gail? Because, you know, I mean, if, if it is, I'll lend you money anytime you need it. Oh, I appreciate that. And aside from the money, it's just... It's something that I need to do right now. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Why are we talking about this? I'm supposed to be celebrating my being here? This is Dr. Taylor. Yeah, uh, put her through. It's Amy. What's wrong? Hello, Amy. It's 2.30 in the morning. You tell my mother to get dressed and come home. Amy? What's wrong, man? She hung up. What's the matter? She said to tell you to get dressed and come on home. Get dressed? Look, I, I think I better take you home. Oh. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm sorry. It, it, it was just, it's, it's, it's too soon. I should have known better. It's okay. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Come on. I'm oh, I'm sorry. I'm so late. Ben's outside waiting to take you home. Oh, that's very nice of him. Oh, it is late, isn't it? I'll get your coat. Amy stayed up till midnight. Is that all right? Mom, Amy is old enough to sit for both of us. Tell me something. Are you and Ben getting serious? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Gail, truly. Well, that's as truly as I can be. I'm going to ask him just for fun. Mom, it's me you want the answer from. Sleep well. I already have. Good night, dear. Good night. Thanks. Just tell me why, Amy. Amy? Just tell me why. I just wanted to, that's why. I don't want you interfering with my private life ever again. Do you understand that? And I don't want you doing what you were doing. You have nothing to say about what I do. All I did was make a phone call. And what did you do? That beautiful thing you told me was supposed to be only with your husband, not just anybody. You can punish me any way you want to. I don't care. Because last night I was thinking of Daddy and you weren't. Amy? Amy, honey, stop. Amy, please. Please, listen to me. No, do you listen to me? No. Okay, here we go. I used just a regular peanut oil for that to 
kind of general vegetable oil. It tastes better somehow. Now, the garlic. John, a lot of people like to go all the way through into the center of the meat. I don't like to do that because I think you lose some of the flavor, you know, some of the, some of the blood. Do we have any time? Anybody come at you with a cleaver yet? <sighs> it's only 10 o'clock. Well, I just wanted to welcome you to the family. From the looks of it, you're doing fine. Oh, I hope I won't disappoint you. I knew a good thing when I saw it. <laughs> Thanks for the moral support. Oh, that's better than immoral support. <laughs> I think we've got the right girl this time, John. Looks like it. Thanks. Lemon pepper. Yeah. Oh, do you have any wine? Yeah, wine. Right here. Hello? Hello again. How was school? If it's silence you want around here, you got it. Okay. I'm sorry. Is that for real, or are you just trying to make peace with the family? No. For real. You know, it's only the two of us around here now, and we don't get along. We're in trouble. I oh, know. <laughs> it's a rotten thing you did last night. I know. Are you okay? I didn't like waking up and finding your empty bed. I don't like being alone. The grandma was here. It's not the same thing. And I don't understand how you can forget daddy so fast. Oh, honey, I can never forget your dad. It's just that I don't always remember what it's like to be 16. <laughs> and I know it's impossible for you to feel what it's like to be my age. You just have to trust me. I wouldn't do anything willingly to hurt you. I just have, have a life to lead. I can't tell you everything. That'll change in time. Okay? Now, shall I liven up the conversation by telling you about my first day at work? Well, were you nervous? <laughs> I got over it. I haven't worked since the day you were born. <laughs> Mom, you can do anything. What do you call a 15-year-old who thinks about it all the time? Brain damage. Come on, can't you guess? A 15-year-old who thinks about it all the time is... You're absolutely gross, Larry. Larry, don't. What? Somebody will see us. So what? My feelings are my own business. Private. Larry, where are you going? I was going to pick you up after school. Oh, I forgot what day it was. I thought I was going with Mom to get me a new pair of jeans. Sorry. It's OK. I can walk home by myself. Sure, I can't take you home. No, thanks. See you tomorrow. OK. Sure, I can't drop you. Son.